He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you, John 15, 2 and 3. Today's devotion focus is more fruit. We're all excited to see 2020 behind us, for it was more challenging and overwhelming than anyone could anticipate. If we tweak our perspective, 2020's cutting and pruning allow God to set us up to produce more and in some cases different fruit. In 2020, we pursued God for we wanted to see, understand, and hear Him clearly. And yes, we needed His peace. Some of those God and me times were uncomfortable, for God was pruning back and helping us to reprioritize things in our lives. There were also God and me times where we felt an elevated uh, bursting of love, His love, joy, His peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Self-transforming fruit that we find in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Those self-transforming fruit also enable us to encourage, inspire, support, and love others in this season. Time with God is more than going to the church house and participating in a ministry. It's dining in His Word. It's chatting with Him on a nice walk. It's an internal shout out in the middle of a chaotic day at work. 2020 showed us how to slow down and take intimate time with our Heavenly Father. So during this fast, let us be intentional about our reading, studying, meditating, and praying so we might obtain revelation knowledge on how to bring forth more fruit. And then let us share with another so that they too understand the cutting and pruning process and bringing forth their abundance of fruit. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that we've experienced in life, for it has brought us to this point where we are able to produce more fruit, Father God. Fruit that gives you the glory and the honor, Father God. So Father God, be with us, continue to work in us and through us, Father God. Help us to share and encourage others, Father God, as they produce their abundance of fruit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, everyone.